When was the last time you did something purely for yourself without worrying about what others might think? Think about it and let's explore this together. Today, I want to dive deep into a topic that's been on my mind lately, which is about breaking from social norms and embracing our authentic selves. Hey there, super mamas. Welcome to my little nest. My name is Erica. I'm a homeschooler mom of three. I don't just talk about homeschooling. My channel explores womanhood and what I would call mindful health. I've got a lot of stuff going on in my head. Personal, professional, spiritual. Ladies, I've been on a journey and I'm still on it. I've been reflecting on this journey of self-discovery and I stumbled upon this incredible book, The Gifts of Imperfection by Brene Brown. I absolutely love this author. In this book, she talks about finding our true selves and embracing authenticity. I'm gonna read some lines from the book. Now, in the preface, she says, owning our story and loving ourselves through that process is the bravest thing we'll ever do. How much we know and understand ourselves is critically important, but there is something that is even more essential to living a wholehearted life, loving ourselves. And my favorite part, just right here in the introduction, wholehearted living is about engaging our lives from a place of worthiness. It means cultivating the courage, compassion, and connection to wake up in the morning and think, no matter what gets done and how much is left undone, I am enough. It's going to bed at night thinking, yes, I am imperfect and vulnerable and sometimes afraid, but that doesn't change the truth that I am also brave, worthy of love and belonging. The takeaways from this book resonate deep in my soul. She encourages readers to cultivate self-compassion, authenticity, and vulnerability to live a more fulfilling and joyful life. As mothers, we are constantly bombarded with messages about what it means to be a good mom. Society sets the bar impossibly high and we often find ourselves trying to measure up to an idea that simply does not exist. We're told we need to do it all. Be nurturing, be loving, be patient, be successful in our careers, all while maintaining a perfect home and family life. <laughs> but the truth is there's no such thing as a perfect mother. We all make mistakes and that's okay. When we embrace who we are, flaws and all, we give our children the gift of authenticity. And that is one of the greatest gifts we can offer. Now, I named this channel Super Mama Living to simply acknowledge how amazing and resilient we are as women and as mothers and to remind us to love ourselves love our magnificence. You know, we must get rid of the need of being superhuman and just embrace our authentic selves. Now, I know good enough that it's tough, but wholehearted mothers prioritize self-compassion and self-care. We gotta remember that we can't pour from an empty cup and taking care of ourselves is not selfish, it's essential. By nurturing our own well-being, we model healthy behavior for our children, teaching them the importance of self-love and self-respect. You know, I've gotten this recently. I started doing more things for myself and it shows my children they need to take time for themselves. You can't always be focused just on family. Can you relate to that? Give me your thoughts in the comments below. Also, if you're enjoying this conversation so far, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Listen, reading this book got me to thinking again about all the ways 
we're influenced by societal norms and expectations. And to think about my journey in breaking loose from a certain mindset. You see, we've all been trained. We've been trained to believe there's a specific path we must follow in life whether it's about our careers, relationships, or even education, there's this unwritten script we're supposed to adhere to. But what happens when we break away from this mindset? That's truly when we live without boundaries and experience what I feel is true happiness. Let me share a personal example with you. I was educated in a good school. And while I had like hopes and dreams of becoming a pediatric neurosurgeon, I realized in university, as soon as I stepped in the door, I had the mind for it, but not the heart. It wasn't my true passion. I had been groomed to think that a high level professional metal career was the only right path for me but it wasn't what was singing in my heart. I embarked on a journey to break away from that mold. I shifted gears from pre-med to pursue a business degree. Now, even after pursuing business, I left corporate America for new adventures in Amsterdam, and eventually I found my calling. I found my calling as an entrepreneur and then as a fitness professional. It was a process of rediscovering myself and it led me to a place of genuine happiness. And <laughs> let me tell you, it wasn't easy. Making these transitions, which I'm still doing, requires saying no to certain people and even letting go of friendships and other relationships. But it was all worth and is worth it because I emerge as a happier version of myself, true to who I want to be. And you know what? There is nothing selfish about wanting to be happy. So I have to ask you, what makes you happy? And I'm not talking about money or material possessions. I mean, what makes your soul light up with joy? From the inside out it's crucial to explore this question because embracing our true happiness is the key to a fulfilled life now i know many of you are moms like me and we all face the challenge of balancing our responsibilities and desires but let me tell you it's possible to find a little sweet spot where you're a devoted mother and also satisfying your own passions and dreams. Believe me, it's what I'm doing right now in my life, starting this YouTube channel and as well still homeschooling. Ladies, embracing our authenticity is vital to our well being as human beings and as women. Let's forget about the year of the rabbit. I say let's make this the year of do you boo. You know, let's do what truly fits us and live our best lives unapologetically. How do I say that? Unap unap <laughs> unapologetically. So here's the exciting part. I started this YouTube channel to create a community where we can have these conversations together. I'll be sharing more thoughts like this with you as they come through my little brain. And I also want to share about my experiences in life, womanhood, motherhood, health and homeschooling. But most importantly, I want to hear from you. Check out Brene Brown's book, Gifts of Imperfection. The link is below along with some of the other titles uh, that she's written that I enjoy. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's embark on this journey of self-discovery and empowerment together. I can't wait to see your comments. And until next time, remember, be kind to yourself and stay true to who you are. Bye for now.